I have a PhD in an area like archaeology and ancient history and languages. And so I work with ancient manuscripts of scripture. I work with ancient pagan manuscripts. I work in archaeology. And I, I don't bury my brain in the sand somewhere. I believe that God has redeemed my reason and washed it so that it can be used with uh, the evidences that are out there. And I, I just, I revel in that. And that's what I study. And I have the, the great joy of teaching students hundreds and hundreds at a time and speaking to audiences, large and small. My, my PhD is in an area called Mediterranean Studies, which is a combination of archaeology, ancient history, classics, religion, kind of all put together. I, it varies depending on where your dissertation lies. Mine's in Egyptology. I have 13 languages that I have studied. It's just my background. Um, my mentor in archaeology excavated at Nagamati, where the Nagamati Nazi text was found. So you're going to get, you want to get answers on the Gospel of Thomas and all? He just recently died, but by God's grace, I can tell you because I'm his student. My other, another one of my mentors is, without a, without a doubt, one of the world's leading specialists on Gnosticism. Right? Another one of my mentors is the world's leading specialist on the text transmission of Bible. So I, 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 I just sit under their mantles, you know, that's, that's all. But that's my background. I direct an excavation in, in Egypt, and it's an excavation, it is huge. It has a huge cemetery with 15,000, at least 15,000 bodies buried in it. If you walked across the mound, your feet would go through the cavities of the bodies. Um, the, the, it's at these monasteries where books were copied. This is where scripture was copied. We're out in the desert where this stuff is preserved. And that's why I'm digging where I'm digging. It's a great site to be at. And so, uh, less than a month ago, in the monastery, next to the monastery we stay in, because we are, we, our field operations stay in the monastery of the Pope of the Coptic Church. In the monastery next door, they discover in the walls of the monastery 700 manuscripts, 1,500 years old of scripture. So this, we're in a good place. <laughs> I'm looking for volunteers. But you can't be afraid of like snakes, scorpions, or any of that kind of stuff. No, seriously, I'll tell you about the excavation. You want to come with me? Come on. Uh, so that's my background, all right? A lot of these things have to do with Egypt and discoveries in Egypt and texts and things like that. And they relate to the stuff behind me and all. I've, I've basically been a Christian my whole life, but I, I've always had doubts and questions about I didn't know if there was any evidence supporting like where the Bible started and stuff like that. And there is, there's a lot. It's like the most documented thing in history. But, uh, what he talked about in church today really helped me to um, reinvigorate so that it didn't become robotic and stale. And so I really appreciate all of the archeological evidence that he shared. Having looked at all the artifacts, uh, the Bible artifacts, uh, makes me want to attend one of Dr. Carroll's uh, tours to Egypt and I'm really um, I'm very fascinated by all of the artifacts that he's brought back and I'd like to climb down one of those holes that he's dug and see what's in it. <laughs> it was very interesting. Um, I've, I've read and seen other people speak about the ancient artifacts, those kinds of things and how they back up the Bible and um, it was just neat to see it and, and, and from someone that's actually hands-on as, as done it and um, experienced it and discovered some of these things. Well, I'd like to invite you to a seminar. You know, there are a lot of great ministries that the church has that meets all kinds of needs, but foundational to all of those ministries is really an understanding about the Word of God, its authority, its authenticity, its trustworthiness. And when Satan attacks the church, he attacks the church at the foundation 
I mean, he's been doing this throughout time. He's been attacking the truth of God's Word. And there's an essential need for the people in the church to know something about God's Word, how it was put together, how it relates to translations, how the canon was assembled, and the such like. And, and there's really no ministry that addresses this very serious need. And that's what we do. Uh, we have a wonderful collection of antiquities, and we come into a church, into an area, onto a university campus, and we teach for a morning and an afternoon about how the Bible was compiled and put together over the course of time, and how it was transmitted. And what happens is this evokes tremendous confidence in the Christian when they understand the accuracy with which the text was transmitted over time and how that relates then to translations that we have today. We need to know about the canon. We need to know about these extra canonical writings and how they might relate to the Bible itself. These, these are the kinds of challenges that face Christians in everyday life. And these things are certainly addressed by pastors in the pulpit, but they're very complicated and they take a specialist to address them. And God's blessed me not only with the artifacts, but also with the expertise and the training and the research and the ability and the passion to teach on these kinds of things. So I think this is absolutely critical to the church of the 21st century. And I'd like to invite you to think about coming and participating along with us in our seminar.